yeah. We're rolling? All right, we're rolling. All right. Welcome back. This is probably the eighth episode. Yeah, eighth episode. Eighth episode of Serving Sunshine. I am your host, Casey Graves, alongside me, co-host and runner of the Yifno company, Nick Wutch. Uh, we, got on, Eric, we got Eric Graff over there in the corner as well, rocking the newest fucking hoodie. And alongside us, I don't know what that was, but alongside us, we got a special guest in the building. We got a special guest in the building. This motherfucker has a great podcast out right now, and he's absolutely crushing it. He's got a comedy show tonight. We're actually doing the Tampa Sun Fest. Um, give it up for my man over here, Mr. Marco. And what was, how do you pronounce the last name? Del Vecchio. And Del if you Vecchio. get it wrong again, I'm not going to do anything. If you get it wrong again, <laughs> I, I probably, yeah. I have to start my car. Kiss my him on the cheek. <laughs> He'd like yes, that, Yes, Mr. Del Vecchio. <laughs> I'm get, I'm, Everybody likes a little cheek. Just Dude, just, just and, cheeky. It's just, yeah, just cheeky. Little, just to kiss the boys uh, good night. You can't kiss there's, the bros. You can't kiss the homies. There's, yeah. there's nothing. Come on. Apparently, it's uh, attractive. Chemistry. It's attract. Well, I was told from the from Emily and Jamie that uh, it's hot. What is kissing guys on the cheek or in the the mouth? I, think I don't do it. I think just the cheek pecks probably. I pronounce yeah, his yeah, last name right here. You get it wrong, I'm going to kiss you on the cheek. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah. Anyway, it's good to be here. Dog. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, people have gotten your last name wrong before. It's oh, oh Del Vecchio. Growing up. Eighth grade. Marco Polo. That's yeah. I hear, I've hear. i heard it since fucking third grade in the pool. Like everyone yeah. says it. And girls will be like, <laughs> Polo. <laughs> Marco Polo. Like, okay, bitch, you're not hot. Shut up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Third, grade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> third grade. Third like, grade. You're not you hot. Have cooties, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck off. We have a. Uh, we have. I mean, this company is called Yifno. I don't know if you under if you know. The I acronym. like the fucking design. I don't know of it. Just do you want to design? Do you want to guess what the acronym is? Yeah, guess it. You. Y i f n o. Five seconds. You, insub- <laughs> you insubordinate fuck. No dick. You insubordinate well, fuck. No, no dick. dick. That's, that's, that's pretty. pretty. At the end. Oh. <laughs> you insubordinate fuck. No ostrich. No ostrich. No, no ostrich. Yeah, no that's what I say when I order breakfast. <laughs> no, I go, ma'am, no, no ostrich. ostrich. I'll have a, <laughs> listen, no ostrich. strictly quail eggs for me. <laughs> Hold the ostrich. What's your favorite breakfast spot? In Tampa? Just in general. I gotta go... I hop Danny's Waffle House. Waffle House is late night Oh, we're move. talking dirty, huh? Oh, so and they have to... Talking yeah. dirty, baby. They have to disrespect you at the Waffle House. Oh, it fuck can't be She nice. has to be like slapping her gum oh, yeah. yeah. If a cigarette what butt isn't in my pancakes, I don't if want If I it. don't smell unshowered, you're not at Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> if I see all the teeth, that's I hop. Yeah. If I see one missing or two, that's Denny's. If you're a little gummy bear, Waffle House. Yeah. For sure. And guess what? I get a sweet tooth. So what's dude, your favorite spot? Gummy man? bear. <laughs> waffle House, yeah, dude. Waffle there's House. not a fight broken out, out. It's not a Waffle yeah. House. Yeah. If there's no scuffle after my fucking hotcakes, then I don't want to be there. <laughs> If my shooting. server's <laughs> not on, <laughs> if my oh, written house hasn't been there recently, <laughs> if my server's not on speakerphone talking about how deadbeat her baby daddy is, it's not <laughs> Waffle House. <laughs> it is not. If yeah. it's not fucking Wednesday nights and every other weekend, right. <laughs> fucking <laughs> visiting visitation rights, we are not at Waffle House. I want court ordered breathalyzer when you start your car. <laughs> Hell yeah. A court order breathalyzer with a side of pancakes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's how we roll, baby. That's how we roll, baby. And a clip on bow tie. So we have the. Acro- clip. <laughs> so yeah, so so it does stand for yo. It's fucking nice out. Oh, it was close. Yeah, close. Yeah. No ostrich. No. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we ask all our guests in the beginning of the podcast, "What does Yifno mean to you?" Yo, it's fucking nice out. That just means, like, whatever, it could be any weather, to be honest. As long as your fucking attitude going into the day is fucking nice, then it's going to be nice out. I like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right? just go the fuck it's outside. up to you how your day is going to be. It doesn't matter what you're going through in life or what is going on in the world. I mean, if you go outside and be like, yo, I woke up another day. My life's blessed to be able to do this. I'm on this podcast with you boys. I'm on this festival. Um, if you are fucking enjoying what you're doing, it's fucking nice out. I like that. That was a good answer. Fucking right. Good yeah. shit. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. How you like the festival so far, man? It's good, man. I feel like I'm driving across the country every fucking stop. Uh, it's it's a long ways. Away. It's like like if it was in LA, it, there would be three spots: the Improv Comedy Store, Laugh Factory, and it's all within a mile and a half radius. And it's just very spread out here, yeah. so it's tough. I feel to see who you want to see and join shows and this and that. But I like it so far. It's very cool, and everyone's like down to earth, especially in Florida. Like yeah. it's just like there's no like pretentiousness. I feel because some comics right. when they get too big, it's like oh, I have to go hide away in the green room. I don't want to come out and see fans. Like my one of my dead boys, Jeff Die. Shout out to him. Uh, he fucking will chill at the bar and talk to anyone. Oh. And that's what I because he's a huge comedian. He's going on Rogan on the th like he's a huge comedian. That's what's fucking nice to see someone have that much just fucking just humility and just coolness of just like fucking chilling. You know, yeah, he's a bro. The hang. He's Comedians a bro. in he's a bro. general are just the yeah. coolest people, man. Yeah. It's a good hang. So what scene did you come up in, like, start doing comedy? So I, I played football my whole life. I had a full scholarship to Brown University. I'm from Providence, Rhode Island. I went to prep school, and I did legally Big heroin problem there. Big, big, big heroin, heroin problem. <laughs> in Ro yeah, Providence. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Big fentanyl heroin problem. Just seen problems. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know, well, a lot, a lot of friends in rehab from there. But anyway, continue. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Legally cool, Blonde cool. the Musical. <laughs> <laughs> did I, well, did yeah. I fucking hear that correctly? That was like <laughs> Legally Blonde the Booze ago. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I was on football my whole life, and then I did Legally Blonde the Booze I was a real life Troy <laughs> Bowen. I was a real life Troy Bowen, I swear to fucking God. And I fell in love with acting and dancing, and I was like, I'm not going to go to the league. Like, I'm a fucking... Good like, for you, dude. I'm not John Lynch. Good for you, dude. <laughs> I'll play strong safety. Like, I'm fast as fuck. I can come down the alley and knock your lights off. But, like, I'm not going to go to the league. So, yeah, Eric Weddle. And, like, dude, I'm Eric just... Well, Eric I'm, well. There's only what, a certain white strong safeties. Yeah. Uh, there's a new one, too. It fucking is Kenny exciting. Vaccaro. He's kind of light-skinned. He's, he's uh, out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll count half of that. Yeah. Uh, so, I did the fucking musical, and I fell in love with it. And my... Uh, so, I passed up on the full ride to Brown University, and I went to Cal Arts. Uh, for my BFA, which is like a Juilliard of the West, if you will. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I hated that. It was all artsy-fartsy, become the tree bullshit, which is my cup of tea in acting. And I moved to L.A. and then did a music video with Camila Cabello called Havana, which is the third most Havana. watched music video in YouTube no, no. history. Third most watched behind Baby Dang. by Justin Bieber and Hips Don't Lie by Shakira. Wow. wow. Shit. That was a love interest. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I played Juan and Rodrigo. <laughs> Good for oh, you, yeah. man. Yeah. Good for fucking So man. I act, I do a bunch of commercials. Sorry, I'm interrupting. Yeah. No, no, you're not. I'm just excited to know, like, we've got white people in the secondary. You know what I mean? Like, it's, 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 it's just, it's just, it's, it's harder and harder to come by nowadays. Yeah, so, I like, sitting with somebody. Receivers a little too quick for me. That's what exactly. got me thinking, like, dude, whenever I go to, like, comedy shows, the parking's tough. Like, I can never find a spot because I always see these signs. Yeah. Slow. Children playing. And you don't see these in black neighborhoods. Yeah. Maybe it's because uh, the children are faster. Yeah, they <laughs> get out of the you way. See, no, you, see black, you, just, you see those they signs that say, road work ahead, and black girls go, mm-hmm, it better. You know what I mean? Oh, God. That's funny. Oh, boy. Right, so, <laughs> that's cool. So you go to Cal to go, and then you go to, you do the Havana video. Yeah, yeah. And then, so I, I was doing a little, little digging on your, um, Instagram and I saw that you were on the Steve Harvey show. Bro, you I did eight regular. episodes on that bitch. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's it, was, it was a Bachelor segment. It was like a reality show dating segment, and the first episode, I was just saying, "Fuck it, dude." Every episode, I was hungover. One, you know, when you're hungover, you don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a certain level of like fucking whatever that like, you don't give a fuck. So two of them, two of those episodes, I didn't sleep. <laughs> uh, those are my degenerate days. Degenerate days. And I would just say dumbass shit to Steve Harvey. I'd be like, I want to play a round of mini golf on your mustache. Uh, <laughs> I called him geez. Steve-er. I was like, homegirl better have some tight socks on because you're about to be knocked off. <laughs> <laughs> like dumbass shit. And they kept inviting me back. That's and then sick. in the eighth episode, I got a little too comfortable. And I went down from the rafters where you're like leveled up there and went sit on the couch with homegirl. And he didn't like that because uh, we couldn't talk to him off camera. You have uh, to ask permission from a PA to talk to him. Interesting. Really? Yeah, it's like Ellen DeGeneres type shit. Mm. Like, fucking, yeah. yeah. That's got to be He felt crazy. like kind of a peasant or something, huh? I mean, it's his show, but also he's probably one of the biggest 
people ever. He's like, so where did you slip up with Homegirl? We'll get back to this. I got back, so I went off. So like, it narrows down to two people at the end of the day. Steve asks questions like, "Do you like dogs in the bed? Are you a dog in the bed girl?" And she answers. And the bachelors that didn't answer correctly, they get booted off. Mm. But they made me select answers that would coincide with hers. So I would be to the end and say stupid comments because like, oh, it's too bad because I'm a dog in bed. <laughs> like I would and they're like, we need that for the views. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then the, the last one <laughs> was like, this like guy's the great. last one I would go down. I went down to the couch and I literally said, get fucking walk through here, baby. Yeah, Who don't cares? Be, don't be scared. Holy yeah. crap. Big tits and oh, oh, no boners on the pot. And I Big fucking with the I was like, You ever oh. see a nice pair of tits and you get amnesia? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. Anyway. What were we talking about? Caltech, right? <laughs> Steve Harvey. Where did mustache. it go wrong? <laughs> They're back. Saying uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, like I can the be the jalapeno fries. pepper that will spice up her life. <laughs> Hell yeah. It, it was just stupid shit like that. So yes, I was on the Steve Harvey show and no, no longer. Eight times. Eight times. That's dope. It, yeah, it's cool. It's fucking. I don't look. My that was most people. Oh my! Can I tell a quick story? Of course. Please. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is the space for it. So I was on a Thanksgiving family cruise, right? And my grandma paid for everything, and me and my cousin, we go on the cruise, and the first stop's Jamaica. So we get off, and we do our thing in Jamaica. And by do our thing, yeah. I mean we uh, take we get some uh, narcotics. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah and we sneak it back on super easy. So we're smoking on the balcony of our room, and then we go to the casino, and I'm on a heater on the blackjack table. And I get a tap on the shoulder from the security guard. He's like, hey, you need to come with me. I was like, fucking no, I don't. I'm not splitting tens. Uh, <laughs> and he was like, no, it's serious. I was like, okay. I put a placeholder on my chips, go with him. My cousin's crying at my room with another security guard. And he's like, Marco. I'm like, what, what's going on? I'm hammered. <laughs> 4 p.m. on a fucking Saturday. <laughs> and he's like, before we go in here, is there anything you need to tell us? And I was panicking. I'm hammering. I was like, yes, there's fucking weed on the balcony. There's my prescription Adderall in the safe. Uh, I was crushing it up because it goes in faster. Uh, and yeah. um, uh, so they flipped our room upside down. Me and my cousin go on the brig of a crew of a Norwegian cruise lines, which is a nice jail. Yeah. <laughs> fucking the, the sheets on the five fresh. star. Fresh. Five star. Yeah. Hey, but full service. I got salmon. Oh, yeah. Full service, <laughs> bro. They were like, can I massage you anything? Oh the guy named Mike. Judd. The head of the security was named Judd. Nicest guy. And I was just fucking with him. So we spend the night in the brig. Our family doesn't know. We missed the Thanksgiving dinner of the fucking cruise. And Judd goes, so you got boys have two options. One, Cayman Islands is our next stop. And since we're in international waters, uh, it's up to them whether you stay on the ship and spend Thanksgiving cruise the rest of it with your family or you get off and fly your own way home our family has no idea where we are this and that so the next day <laughs> came an island's police officer fucking boards a ship short black woman tall black guy the race has nothing to do with it but you'll find out why uh <laughs> we come out of the brig and they're explaining what we did and this and that and we're very uh sorry and the short black woman goes w w were you perchance on steve harvey she recognized me from the Steve Harvey talk show that's only in black hair salons. <laughs> oh, and yeah. I, she let me stay on the fucking ship. I'm assuming that's why. Yeah. Because there was that's more, so there was more than weed. That's, I'm just not going to say that what else was picked up in Jamaica. Party first. Well, so, yeah. So I'm that's, glad. That's how, that's, that's, yeah. That's. Well, I'm glad we're not, you know, meeting you on an episode of Locked Up Abroad, and that you, <laughs> you made it. Show. That would be pretty crazy, dude. Fucking you ever watch Below His Deck? Yeah, below. <laughs> exactly. Speaking, we we know Rachel Hargrove from Below Deck. She's good comedian. Too. She does comedy too. She oh, runs yeah. a comedy yeah, show. Yeah, she runs a comedy in, uh, show West in West Palm. Palm. Oh, let's go! Cool. I've never been to rehab. Miami or South Florida to do comedy besides Tampa, though. Come, come over. Yeah, come on. Over. We run a monthly show at uh, Twenty Seven Bar. It's a, it's a nice bar and lounge. It's a tight room. Thirty to fifty people pack it out. Let's go, VIPs, bro. Yeah. Those the are the best, line. dude. Fuck yeah. It's a work room. I talked to David Lucas about it, and he's like, "Oh, word." He's like, "In Fort Lauderdale." I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "My daughter lives in Fort Lauderdale. I want to come to this fucking show." Yeah. It's oh, like, give me your sick, contact. Yeah. I was like. Yeah, because, dude, when you're a real fucking comedian, it ain't about, like, I'm not really, like, networking to say. It's like he asked me where I was from, and then that's how it turned into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, And when people find out, and they got, like, Cam Patterson's from Orlando. He's flying over Florida, boys. He's like, damn, I fuck with y'all. He's like, I, I definitely want to check out the scene more because 
people don't know they're all, they're on their time. You're on LA time. You don't give a fuck about where the fuck we're doing. We're all doing our own shit. Yeah. So when you find out there's more stuff in like your neck of the woods or in different areas that you fuck with, vis a vis like Tampa, like you got this whole thing down here. You go a little more down south, and there's the Miami Improv, West Palm Improv, Dania Improv, oh, plus shit. these bar shows and rooftop shows. It's a nice little hangout. You stay. You know, everything's closer, too. There's no, like, 30-minute commute bullshit if you're in the right area. Yeah, last time I went to Miami, I spent, like, two grand on four dinners. That happens. Yeah, and that does happen. they don't tell you that tips included. No. Can we get her? A, can you pull up a chair? I've, I'm getting self-conscious because you have to stand this entire time. There's a stool. Oh, yeah. yeah Steph's off got... camera, guys. Uh, Shout out, happy, Steph. Shout out, happy dad. Absolutely. Yeah. Pull up a chair. I feel bad. Um, dude, I spent two grand on fucking dinners. Oh, yeah. I, I granted I did a whole yep. like a uh, group hospitality. I did the sexy yeah. fish, carbone, fucking the whole circuit. Yeah, uh, poppy food. steak, fucking. I it's crazy. The the poppy steak thing is insane. The thousand dollar steak that people order just for the show of it. That's nah. what people go to clubs for. <laughs> nah. They pay for real estate. They pay to right. feel cool. <clears throat> yeah, that's exactly. why you're going to a club. You're not paying a thousand dollars for a fucking little bottle of Tito's. You're paying right. so the presentation the so girls look at you it's a status your value. It's status. Yeah. It's status. It's a status. LA is the same thing, but LA club industry is going downhill. No one goes to clubs anymore. It's a sports bar industry. Barney's Beanery, shout out Barney's, is the biggest fucking popping spot. You're serious. I swear to God. Where are you at in LA? I used to live in West Hollywood. Now I'm just up the street in the hills. I did. uh, I used to live off of uh, Runyon Canyon, Basic Bitch Trail. I literally live five minutes right behind in the hills behind Yamashiro. No How many shit. times can I say I live in the hills, huh? Oh, yeah. Yamashiro, Subtle flex. which, which <laughs> also... A sushi spot. Yamashiro, but also during COVID... So I lived out there during COVID. I was doing acting and bullshit. And Yamashiro, cool. they, when COVID hit, they put... Um, what's her name? That, that famous pancake house... And uh, that you got the the lines out the ass in oh, the griddle, the griddle. No way. They merged. Is that why it was closed on Sunset? Yamashiro, yeah, because yeah. next to the Writers Guild. On- exactly. So Yamashiro merged with the griddle, and they had the griddle Sushi at Yamashiro. Sushi pancakes. What? Yeah. <laughs> you want more They had. <laughs> you know, miso. Her cat's name's Miso, and she's trying to tell me that wasn't fucking Japanese origin. Like the soup. <laughs> <laughs> What did you Come think? On, Steph. What did you think it was? That's exactly what I thought it was. Oh, oh okay. Well, we so <laughs> yeah. That's that's hilarious. Um but yeah, dude, yeah, small world, uh, and that's uh the fucking what we're we talking about for the LA. I don't know. So how's the how's the fun. comedy scene out in LA right now? Cuz there's like a lot of, you know, talk of like people moving to Austin and, you know, COVID kind of changed things. What's it I mean, what's Austin's it like? I mean, Austin's fucking though? huge. Joe Rogan has that mothership right. spot, which is like fucking amazing. But like, dude, th- th- LA and New York are the biggest comedy scenes and nothing's changing that. Yes, a lot of people there was an influx of people especially after COVID going to Austin. One it was cheaper, now it's probably the same price. Right. And it's not like LA, Miami, New York, nothing's beating that. I'm Miami, not necessarily for comedy. Right. But New York and like LA has the comedy store, the, the Laugh staples, Factory, dude. and the improv. The staples. The staples. Yep. Right. Like, no, like people live in LA. Yeah. It's the entertainment capital of the fucking. It's the history there. And yeah, nothing's changing that, I feel. And I've been gracious enough to host Mark Hayes' shows. Uh, who he has consistently, uh, Mark Wallace, Craig Robinson, um, fucking he had Theo the other night, Dion Cole popped in, and I host his shows, and it's fucking sick. I I thoroughly enjoy it, but I want to get into, like, producing my own shows and, like, being the guy, like, I like hosting. Like, I always want to, I want to go on a road, I want to go on the road with someone, like a Jeff Dye or someone, because my, I take pride in my stage presence of uh, just, like, pumping people, like an MC of a DJ uh, if you will, but like also kind of funny, you know, like I'll do my 10 minute set, but I want to keep going up and introduce people and get the crowd pumping. They like yeah. you. Therefore they like the show. You They're, are, you yeah. are the, fi- you are the, the, you drive the vessel in the right direction because your hosting skills are good. That's what I want. Good That's what I want. And unfortunately of recent, uh, like I was at the improv the other night and I got off stage and I have like an ass eating joke. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go on. <laughs> Continue. Continue. <laughs> and he was like, "How'd you how'd you think your set went?" And I know this guy from Barney's at sports bar. And he's like, "I, I mean, I thought it went pretty good. What's up?" He was like, "I don't know. You seem a little cocky up there. Fucking talking about like swiping a riot. Fucking eating ass. Like fucking have a little self deprecate." I'm like, "Do I come off as cocky? Because that's the last thing I want to do." Like I, and Steph Tolov said, "Of course you're cocky. You're cocky." Like I don't see myself as cocky. Like I don't. I'm not. 
No, I think you just tie energy, which is good, you know, which is like a perfect for hosting and everything. We all so, are cocky, yeah. I think. Well, so, the, like you, they're, they're, they're cocky. I'm not bragging. I'm not braggadocious. I'm just yeah. literally confident in my abilities. What was his bone to pick with you? with you? Yeah, like what was yeah. his bone to pick? I don't pick? know why he said that. You know what I'm saying? I, what, why, why do that? I don't yeah. go where you fucking flip burgers and be like, oh, that one needs a little more. Because like, what does that say about <laughs> yeah. someone? I always say when Projection. someone says something. You probably project. What does it say about that person? But I'm an insecure fucking lunatic, well, so I'm fucking taking into account, like, did I come off as cocky? I mean, yeah, you'll be a worse And now critic. it affects fucking me, which I should, you, you should have no fucking care. You should care how you do, but you shouldn't right. care what people think about it. Yeah. I think when when people are like intimidated or put off by like cockiness or like confidence, it's usually because that person's like really insecure and wishes yeah. that they had. They kind of wish they had that skill of being right. like, man, you got like pizzazz with the crowd, but like, ah, he's he's so animated. But realistically, probably what it means is they're like, hey, um, maybe I want to ask him it differently and learn a thing or two yeah. on a tip and they right. don't know how to do it maybe the guy is older than you was. it's he's a seniority like thing 55. does that make sense yeah. so there you go I mean that right there is a huge thing if a younger guy is gonna show up they're like you know like they yeah. get a little bitter about it cause you know the number one fear in the world I was talking about it on the two blunts pod is what's the number one fear in the world getting old dying alone <laughs> uh the number one fear in the world is what people think of you. I don't. I'm not. It's not, not death. It's not spiders. It's not where you guys said it's public speaking. The really? number one. Yeah. Fear what, people would rather die. That. Where'd you find that? Google. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Someone told me that. Actually, Your I don't source. even know if that's fucking oh, true. Just like <laughs> Jamie. Can we? Can we? Can we fact check this? Actually. Steph, can you pull it up? I'm pretty sure it is. Steph, pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, not my phone. My phone's dead? Oh. What? We'll blur that for the podcast. Yeah, you uh, know how to get into his phone. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it's not six. Now, why am I? Uh, it's number one for, is public speaking. Because especially that's why there's chuckle fuckers, which is a girl that goes to a show like they love comedy. Not because they like the sense of humor, but they see you on stage and like the... Being able to speak in front of an audience, especially of strangers, yeah. is very powerful and yeah. very frightening. For sure. Like crippling and seeing someone do that it's attractive i love that you said that a chuckle fucker <laughs> chuckle fuckers. i didn't make up that term i've but it's never true. heard it oh no really oh yeah, it's a term it's first time i had a quick it's a quick st like we have a, a show i do this show in miami down there and uh and i was i was doing my thing i kind of did a little crowd work off rip and like really leaned into this bitch and like her the guy she was with and they left like he he the show's over they both got up he, he's like hey hey i'm gonna go to the bathroom blah 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 he went to the bathroom she goes hey you're really funny up there and i go thanks and i kind of like walked away and she yeah. goes we should go on a date and i go excuse me <laughs> and she goes no, no no we should go on a date i go your man if i'm not retarded your man <laughs> Your man is going to the bathroom, and you're asking me out right now. And she no goes, way. She goes, oh, he's a high school friend. He slid in my DMs. He wanted to come here. He has no shot. We should go on a date. Here's oh. my number. Ruthless. Oh. Crazy Ruthless. part about it was she was in one of those equestrian girls. So <laughs> they ride horses. They ride yeah. horses, dude. I'm not. I'm, you know, I'm nothing shout, short of a fucking stallion. So she just. She's like, give me your number. <laughs> Give me your number. When I'm finished riding horses, I'll ride you. And she says shit like that. I oh, like thanks, that. dude. Delivery. Oh, Shout out to Spooky. Postmates guy comes in. That's Sponsor nice. us and the crazy <laughs> horse ladies. <laughs> Shout out to Full Garner's service balls. of fucking Postmates. They <laughs> come inside. <laughs> I love that he gave us all of the. Please don't. I love that he gave us all the smoothies without straws, so we can just like we just switch it like a cat. You're like, like, a, like, a, a, like, like a miso. <laughs> nah, Cardo, Did we get thank a confirmation? you. Yeah, so. Oh, sorry, brother. <laughs> Ooh. Public speaking is that I can I deal can with a loss. Anything. People cannot deal with going in front of. It's a toss up. A toss -up? What's your What's your biggest fear? It's stupid. Watching me on this. Podcast. It's not stupid. <laughs> hey, it's there's nothing. There's no wrong answers in the workshop. Now go ahead, say something stupid. Okay. <laughs> I'm terrified of chainsaws. Really? <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. Like, that's <laughs> looking at them. That's awesome. I mean, it, 
All right, no woodwork for <laughs> staff. <so. laughs> So like Texas, chain, mm, Texas Chainsaw <laughs> Massacre it's is not on the menu. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. What about the chainsaws? I don't know. It's just like the sound of them freak me out. Not like if I see one like laying down, like won't like run away crying. I'll be like. But you're thinking. Yeah. <laughs> How about That's this? Gross. Do you have minor PTSD when someone has one of those electrical knives and they're carving meat? Because that's kind of a chainsaw. Like Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Best part ever. Yo, hey, I, I go there every year, the and I'm, I go on shrooms every time. I don't know why, and it's the worst experience of my that, life, and I keep doing that it. That sounds so, like a torture practice. Oh, you know what? <laughs> it's the worst. I have girlfriends that are the same. We, they hate certain like uh, things she like that. Chainsaw is not specifically, but certain like... Certain inanimate objects. <laughs> she got me this last night, and I thought it was a penis necklace, <laughs> and apparently it's an alligator tooth. Well, I got it because it looks like a dick. Oh. <laughs> that, like, so, so whenever you're lonely, just go downstairs and suck it. What? <laughs> oh, it was just broke, so the thanks. Chain. Oh, yeah. Your shitty fucking... Look at the quality. This is definitely not from Tiffany. Oh God, it's five bucks. Okay. Exactly. All That's right. all I'm worth to you? It's the thought that counts. <laughs> so what's, so what's, what's your deepest fear then? Because it's obviously not public speaking. You're a stand-up comedian. That's deepest a good fear question. is the ocean. Yeah. Really? I don't like not knowing what's under me. I'm a spear fisherman. I do all that ocean stuff. He, it's scary as fuck. No, you're a queer fisherman. <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, yeah, queer you're a queer fisherman. fisherman. Dude, a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> <laughs> We're all European here. <laughs> Jack him off. <laughs> <laughs> now kiss his mouth. <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 baby. No, I'm just kidding. No, no, what's under me? Because, like, uh, sharks and shit, like, never... What was that? Uh, We're just so funny. Like a We're song. so funny. <laughs> <like trash. laughs> It's so like a chainsaw. <laughs> stop, stop, stop hiding. It sounds like a slutty chainsaw. A slutty chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> or a seagull having an orgasm. Yeah, so not knowing what's on me, I don't like that. Not, yeah. I, I didn't have a bad accident, but I did hear about a bad accident from my dad when he went on another cruise ship story. Uh, him and my <laughs> uncle, they saw a barracuda while snorkeling. That's why I don't snorkel. I don't scuba dive. And a barracuda passed him, and he took a big gulp of salt water because like, he was, like, frightened. Mm -hmm. And it par when you, salt water paralyzes you. And then, like, my uncle had to carry him to shore. And, like, maybe just knowing that in the back of my mind as a kid has influenced my distaste for uh, the ocean. That's your go on a boat. Jeez. I'll go, I'll go on a boat and stuff. Yeah. I just don't want to... I'll go swimming in the ocean, okay. but once I can't touch my feet to the bottom, I can swim. Not the a big shark. Not, scary, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Not a big shark weed guy? Oh, I love... I love... Sharks fascinate me. I just don't want any part of them. Dude, yeah, they're yeah, terrifying facts. to be in the water with, man. It is not... Hard. You're in the water with these fuckers? Yeah, dude, when you're spear fit, you're diving down and, like, Why? killing the Why? fish that they Why would you... Isn't there... Isn't there, isn't there an option? You're sick. Isn't oh. there, <laughs> I spear fish, well, too. I, I'll take you one there. to, like, yeah. stay in the boat and fish? There is an option. There it's is. called driving. But you gotta... You gotta... <laughs> It's kind of gay, though. It's, it's like, not gay at all. It's, it's, it's a little gay. It's a little Spear gay. Fishing, a queer fisherman is pretty funny, yeah. but because now I now I picture a guy in like pink scuba suit and like <laughs> he's like he's got like a bedazzled spear for whatever reason. He's like fish, and he's like, let's get some hogfish. <laughs> <laughs> but but dude, spear fishing is probably one of the craziest. You charge your phone. Can she borrow a charger real quick? There's yeah. one plugged in Sorry, on the other side. On her, oh, there's two. There's two I'm people pleaser. You want to go around and there's two lightning chargers right there. Um, fucking, those are sick bottles. Dude, hit me yeah, up. How about this? I'm gonna I'm gonna do one. Further. I'm not going in the water with you. I'm no? gonna, I'm gonna let you know right now. Don't be gay. Don't be gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go on the boat. I just don't want to go. Open water is the most. That's the answer to your question. Open water is my biggest fear. Yeah, okay. that's scary. All right, that's fair. So biggest fear. Um, I think my biggest fear would probably be getting pegged by my ex-wife. Like, that would that okay. would be my biggest fear. <laughs> Is it therapy? That's weird. That's my biggest <laughs> fantasy. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of, like, the ocean pegging. and everything, and pegging, how'd you land on 
Fuckboy Island or F Boy Island? Oh, good transition. Let's go. Yeah. There we go. Uh, I got hit up in the DMs saying you'd be perfect for the show, Fuckboy Island, and I didn't know if it was an insult or a compliment. And the premise of the show, it's a sarcastic bachelorette. So there's three girls and there's 24 guys. Half of you are nice guys, half of you are fuckboys. And through a series and process of eliminations, dates, mixers, the girls try to wheedle out the fuckboys because if you're a fuckboy and she chooses you at the end, you get 100 grand. If you're a nice guy, you split it. <laughs> I ain't splitting it. Yeah. I, I'm a nice guy. I have three sisters, walk on the outside of the street, pay for everything. Like, I act too eager with girls, and that's a turn off because girls like a chase and mystery. And, like, if I like you, I'm going to show it. And if you don't like it or reciprocate, then I guess it's my loss. And I lose that fucking battle every time. Despite girls saying they don't like to play games, they do like to play games because it's innate in your psychological nature of yep. wanting what you can't have. Yep. So that's what fucking sucks. And I always fall into the game of like showing my likeness too much and not playing it cool like I want to take you to brunch the next day if I fucking like you I want to hang out with you the next day if I like you uh, mm -hmm. and if that's too much for you then I guess uh, go fucking fuck off yeah Steph I stop blushing that. <laughs> that's just the honest truth so. fuck yeah for you I can relate I, I yeah can relate. yeah you're yeah you're divorced you're basically splitting it without being fuck boy <laughs> <laughs> No, she's not good. She's taking more of your money. <laughs> <laughs> Cuckboy Island. <laughs> Cuckboy Island. Yo, I have oh, a premise man. of a joke. That's I want to work out. Ruthless. Talk to me. Uh, So, like, I don't know. It's just so topical. Jeff was like, don't ask me that question again because he's a big Jesus believer. Uh, can we talk about how there, some lady made up a premise of a 2,000-year-old plus religion because she couldn't admit that she slept with the neighbor, Mary, <laughs> talking, and then yeah. and then talk about Joseph <laughs> being the biggest cuck of all time. That's that's the son of God. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Who? What? <laughs> Who's not like mm -hmm. the like? People yeah. think fucking Scientology is crazy. Tom Cruise, science, aliens, and stuff. This girl magically got pregnant, right? And now it's like Christian. Like it's just crazy to me. It is and Jeff crazy. told you not to say that because he likes... He's a big firm believer in Jesus. I respect that. He, no, he's like, hey, don't run this one by me. <laughs> but it's the crowd for this but, one. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, hey, I'm just the wrong guy to ask. <laughs> yeah, but it's when you get... If he's forced to sit there and hear that and he cracks up too, you got everybody in sync. Because yeah. you're going to get a lot of people like I that. I said at a corporate event with him and everyone laughed. He didn't, but I mean... He's not the fucking say all and tell all jokes. That's like, hilarious. Yeah. I also have another one, like Epstein Island, like fucking, I said it last, did I say it last, I said it last night. Fucking like, if you get molested by Stephen Hawking, that's on you. 100%. <laughs> it's also <laughs> kind of like a cool flex. I did, pictured midgets did, running did from him while he's in his wheelchair, like he's the boulder in Indiana Jones. Did you, <laughs> did you see the meme about the... <laughs> 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 I mean, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. steal it. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah. imagine like you're at like a Rapers Anonymous. Do they have that? Like an R? Like I'm sure. Oh they yeah, do. RA. Yeah, all right. And then we have Black Rapers Anonymous, the NRA. <laughs> 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 we'll be right back after oh, this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm Steve Holly. We will be right back. Yeah. Yeah, say that. Oh wow. god, that was fantastic. That was <laughs> Everything checks out oh, with that joke. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. How are you doing? A lot of editing so, in this podcast. Uh, <laughs> so like, when, like you get to her and she's a midget. She's like, so some guy that couldn't move. <laughs> me. How is that physically possible? Yeah. <laughs> he's On a private out meeting. He's typing them. <laughs> what he wants to he's say. All, he's typing. Where did this happen? Uh, a private island in the, <laughs> the, the, the British Virgin Islands? Well, how'd you get there? I got flown out. You got flown uh, out? Uh, you know what? I, I got I, flown I, out by a pigeon. I'll be honest, dude. I'll be honest, dude. The midgets, here's what happened. I did the Google. 
Um, so is that true? Because I read that <laughs> the midgets got there in uh, in a in a in a, <laughs> a true story in a barrel. Yeah, dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah. barrel. You remember when you opened up the monkeys as a kid? Game the monkeys throw. in the barrel, yeah, like the and they're all connected. That's how they came out. Yeah, like a sixty-gallon oil drum. You're talking about? Yeah, they, were on a canoe. they had room in there too. They're like, hey, you got a pillow? Here's Wi-Fi. Here's <laughs> 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 Wi-Fi. <laughs> They rolled them I, into the house. The password. <laughs> They're <laughs> filming only only fans content. <laughs> God, no. I. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. I wish I was on that island just to see it. Just I to see it. Just I wouldn't to participate. Work there. I wouldn't. Par- I yeah, would I'll spectate. Be, I would hope. If not. you gave me, you know <laughs> what? Are you part of the problem? Let me tell you something. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm helping out the solution because I'm watching. Not let the boy watch. Just and let that, him so, watch. So if I have to be on, like, you know how the UFC now they have like, if you don't want to go to the fights, you can do it through VR headset with Facebook and the Meta. I'd do that. Reviewer. I'd be do that. I'd be doing that with. Uh, for like, I'm, like, I'm like, let's see what Bill Clinton's up to, and I just right. put on the fucking headset and be like, all right, You're that's enough. That's Monica. enough. <laughs> that's enough. Him today. Uh, well, have you tried VR porn? porn? No, I've never. No. Yes, I've never I have. Yeah, it's, oh, you have. It's fucking nuts. Really? It's wow. elite. Yeah, it's, it's I tried it like three. Years you can't ago. go back. No, no, I definitely could go back. It's, <laughs> it, I would get addicted. If I did it, I was like, oh, it was a one and done. You're like, oh, this will be bad. It was like a week. And I was like, <laughs> what am bedroom. I doing? <laughs> you were, what? For a week, every day, I would do it. For how long? It's a week. In college. No, for how long How long was each session? Session. I mean, dude. Three minutes. Not, like, not long. <laughs> not long Three at minutes. all. But, like, one you can minute, look. six seconds. I have a quick, <laughs> I have a quick trigger, dude. dude no one knows this room, guy like I do. I'm like, I'm about to fuck Lisa Ann right now. <laughs> Can you literally like look at her and like go get a like drink of water from the fridge and like come back and I mean, like no, fucking? It, it was a cheap VR headset. It was my phone that I like put into. A, it's the ones you buy at Marshalls. Yeah. Where you where you put your your head your it was a good iPhone <laughs> in goggles and you're walking around with radiation hitting you in the retina and you're just trying to fucking find a high C or sunny delight. <laughs> you're out of Marshalls. <laughs> yeah, you're out of Marshalls. You're still in the Marshalls jacking off. You're. Just, you're just, <laughs> yeah, it was good. TJ Minimum over here. <laughs> like, well, I got a long line. I might as well crank one out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They have the longest lines. Yeah, they do. They do. Always. Retarded. Always. And they have like the most weird ash. They have like bowls and pretzels in the fucking checkout. When you're checking aisle. out, they want to tempt you with bowls, pretzels, a phone charger, and for their, some reason that's and six their foot own a crank. <laughs> that six foot a crank. And their only brand. They have their own brand of fucking jelly beans everywhere in Marshalls. <laughs> Do they really? Strategically placed? Fun fact. Like, right when you're checking out. Yeah. Some guy loves jelly beans. Also, the guys <laughs> and girls that work at Marshall's. Anyways, they I have up. about, like, 500 bags of jelly beans. <laughs> if anyone wants to buy them off me. I'm trapping jelly beans. Oh, they get me every trapping <laughs> JBs, yeah. dude? Hey, so should we rip a shot of that, uh... Tequila. I'm glad you brought it up, boys. Special podcast episode is brought to you in part by Rock and Roll Tequila, made from 100% Blue Weber Agave, crafted in the highlands of Jalisco, Mexico. It's the smoothest tequila in the industry, folks. We got five expressions across the board, with two being first of its kind, flavored tequilas, mango and strawberry. This is one of the award-winning tequilas, and it's been available in 32 states with more to come in 2024. In stores or at your local liquor store, or you can buy it online at rockandrolltequila.com. That is that's, good. That's, that's surprisingly smooth. good. Smooth. Rock and roll tequila. I didn't think smooth. To be honest, I was like, uh, too sugary. Like that's the, actually, it's nice. Yeah. You don't need a chaser either. No, and it's it not is too the chaser. strong or anything yeah. like that. I like it better than the mango, honestly. But yeah. both fire. Fucking shout out yeah. Dry January. Mine's more of damp. Yeah, it's a, it's a, a mine's moist, pretty soaked. My yeah. mine was soaked January. Because we're moist dealing January. with damp December. We went damp December. We're like, fuck dry January. Everyone wants New Year, New Me. Shut the fuck up and drink some What tequila. are your resolutions? Shut the fuck up. Just work out four times a week. Eat kind of healthy. Go to Sweet Green a couple times. You being me? Oh, no. I'm just. <laughs> oh, I can. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, <laughs> you do my New Year's resolutions and I'll do yours. Hey, this is what's gonna fucking happen, all right? Come to Miami, go to the improv, <laughs> come to my fucking show, drink a little tequila, go fucking eat, he- s- eat healthy, stop being a little bitch. Fuck my hot wife. 2024, <laughs> fuck my hot wife. Cuck <laughs> boy. Hey, <laughs> let me watch. Let me let me watch. Fucking let cuckle. the boy watch. God fucking forbid it's fucking nice out. Cuckleberry Finn. <laughs> Cuckleberry <laughs> Finn. That's good. <laughs> my turn for him. Mark Cuckerberg. Um, Mark Cuckerberg. Uh, my, new, my only New Year's resolution from him would be like, all right, like looking at a mirror, be like, next time someone says I host a little too much, I'm gonna punch him right in the fucking nuts. I'm gonna go out there, 
fucking smoke a joint, mind my business, fuck my hot girlfriend, drink some shitty tequila that tastes like Puerto Rican cologne. <laughs> 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 That's funny. And uh, maybe go on the ocean once. <laughs> maybe go on the ocean. Mic drop. Mic drop. And that thing, that's, that's, that's over. That's okay, that I'm reason, not going in. Yeah, not. Do you like the ocean? But no, yeah, yeah, you do. I want to do it. You? Do, you fucking, do you also hunt sharks with your hands? No, I don't. I like going on boats, though, and fucking swimming in the ocean. But, yeah, yeah. I, I don't trust going that deep into the water. Thank you. There's no yeah, reason like, to. Like, I would do it. But I can't say, like, I would be too hyped up about it. What's your ideal thrill? Ideal thrill? Like, you know how people get off to roller coasters and shit? Yeah. Are you getting Bing messages? (laughs) We're having technical difficulties. Uh, Ideal thrill. Like, what's your best thrill? Like, I don't, like, like, roller coasters don't get me off. No. Yeah. I like water parks. You don't have to get off the ride to go to the bathroom. Yeah, you just piss on the I don't, slide. I don't think I want to meet a guy that roller coasters get him off, though. Like, yeah, does that make sense? You're fine. Yeah. You're I jacking mean, off. Jer- I mean, you're jacking guy. off on the Sheikra. Yeah, this guy. I kind of don't want to meet you. If you don't. This guy, Jerry, all he wants to do is go to Six Flags and touch himself. <laughs> Something tells me I wouldn't trust that person to babysit. You got the roller coaster. Everyone's got the still shot of the pictures. He just <laughs> <laughs> double up two hands next to like children in the back, like staring with their kid, their parents. It's I do it for the pictures. It's his Epstein Island. Yeah, Six Flags well, is Epstein Island. Park on Epstein Island would be wild. Was it? That'd be Michael wild. Hey, hey, so hey! You wouldn't have to be too tall to ride that ride, though. <laughs> Yeah, there's no height requirement. There's no so height requirement. There's no height. I went on a date with, and I uh, met on Raya, and she hit me up, uh, and she goes, are you a night owl? <laughs> Out of nowhere. I was like, who, who? But yeah, I, I eat mice. She was like, yeah. do you want to wanna go to, do you want to go to Berry's Kitchen, which is Ooh, like who, a LA night, late night spot? Sure. And at 12, I was like, okay. Like, this is like a pretty substantial person. <laughs> so I was like, sick. So I met up with her. And uh, they didn't have coffee there of some reason, and she doesn't drink. I pregame. The, I'm hammered. Like I pregame the day because I'm yeah, really yeah. nervous. Yeah. So we go to Denny's till four in the morning, and uh, I don't drink coffee. It gives me anxiety. But she was reading my palms, like fucking weird stuff. And we go back to my place. She taught me grunge style, and then we went. What's, uh, what's, what's grunge, grunge style? Style is like big sweatshirts and baggy jeans. Yeah, it's oh, like Billy Eilish. Oh, it's, it's like yeah, yeah, that's a good actually. It's like big streetwear. Big streetwear, yeah. And we, uh, and I walk her out, and I give her a kiss, and then she goes home, and then the next day she was like, "I liked it when you kissed me last night." And I was like, "Oh, you like it when I take you to Switchy Town?" <laughs> uh, Speaking and of Switchy Town. Then, and then the next night I was at the club, and I FaceTimed her because she texted me, and I was at the DJ booth, FaceTimed her like, "Hey, what's up?" And she immediately hung up, and then she was like, "I don't think it's gonna work out," because she got out of AA meeting that late, and she's an AA, and she doesn't like fuck with all that shit. Uh, and she was like, yeah, I'm just looking for a guy to fuck, to be completely honest. And That's always nice. So, you know? <laughs> did you fuck her? No, 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 no. I just gave her a smooch when Smooching. she left my place. <laughs> Smooched her puss. That's Real crazy, dude. Yeah. That's pretty bananas. <laughs> That's, That's awesome. crazy. Yeah. So, me, I matched with, dude, I went on a date with Demi Lovato. Cool, like, yeah. Oh, Demi? De- Were you just like, hey, if Demi. it makes you feel... We can cut all this out. Wait, how was that? <laughs> how was that date? How are, did you go down on her pronouns? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're did, did you light up a spoon? <laughs> yeah. I'm here all week, folks. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I you're think... Just, you're just doing pillow talk. talk. <laughs> you're just doing pillow talk with her, and she's like, you know what I think I'm thinking about doing? Shaving my head. <laughs> and you're like, Jesus Christ, did I do that? I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Like, by the way, you're I think the your father was misunderstood. Yeah, it's like crazy. <laughs> like, people use me out there and, like, I don't know. And I don't, I, I, what do you got? Do I come off as cocky? Yes. You walked it. Well, I like you. No, you And I'll be honest in, with you. In a good way. Like a no, 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 no. Cocky no, I don't think you're a douche and confidence. not the negative connotation. There's two types of cocky, in my positive opinion. These glasses are fucking amazing. Well, no, no, keep on, keep on. Cock, keep cocky on. and cock, cock, confidence and cocky. cocky Subtle flex. Way. If it works, and it's it's the it's the ebb and flow of how cocky you can be. Cocky comes off as like a negative connotation. If someone's like, oh, he's cocky, he's doing his thing, he's goofing. It's like, like Dave Chappelle's last special. 
If you've seen it. I haven't seen it yet. I don't have Netflix. I'm not ruining any jokes for you. I'm just saying he does a lot of like slaps on the knee with the microphone and walks around and he makes fun of handicapped people. And he's just goofing. But it, the cockiness of it is like appreciative. Similar to Matt Reif. Yeah, well, the slaps are like that's yeah, Okay. Co- yeah, yeah. And but, so like when people say they're cocky and it's like it's to me in this world we live in is like it's not necessarily a bad thing anymore. It's kind of obsolete to be like he's cocky, therefore he's a well, dick completely. I yeah. think people, does that make sense? I yeah, think, no, I, it does because I'm not a dick. No, no, yeah. and I think yeah. people I think people misuse that word because honestly the way I've always defined it is like confidence is like you you're confident cockiness i think is more associated with arrogance so what's next for you man what's the big plans uh i i I really want to get on a tour like hosting a tour i don't mind like i don't want to be featured i don't want to headline i want to host it i want to like get the people involved like i'm very social person i love networking i love like i'm an extrovert i get energy from other people i'd rather go to a bar not drink just eat than order postmates i'm just that's my type of nature like I, I'm, I love meeting people. I love talking to people, you learning about energy. people and socializing. And yes, mm-hmm. like I get depressed when like, I feel lonely when I'm not around people, when I get rich and famous, which is going to come, uh, I want, if I don't have a significant other, I want my boys to live with me like in the house. Like that's what I want. The entourage, like that fucking Vinny chase shit. And I like, I, I'm not just like a, I'm just not a homebody and yeah, I just love to meet people. And so, uh, back to your question, uh, acting's pretty going well. I still audition and shit. I would love to go on a sitcom. That'd be dope. Sitcom uh. would be dope. They have a great work schedule, too, 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, so you have your nights and weekends. And uh, so, auditioning, the podcast, shout out Smoochie Town. February 20th, Dania Improv. February 20th, Dania Improv. Suck a dick and go to church, huh? All right, bye. Peace. Yo, it's fucking nice out. Yeah, I like that. I like Yefno. That was pretty sick.